interaction of buyers and sellers determines the equilibrium quantities supplied of goods and services. A market in which prices are determined solely through competition between businesses is called a free market. Sometimes, the quantities supplied of goods and services by the free market are not well matched to the needs of society. A market failure is a situation in which equilibrium levels produced by the free market are inefficient. The cause of these inefficiencies can vary depending on the situation. A public good is a product or service that is equally available to all citizens, regardless of their ability to pay. In contrast, a private good is bought and sold as buyers and sellers see fit using the free market. Public goods are usually, but not always, paid for by the government using money provided by taxes. Examples of public goods include law enforcement, national defense, public school systems, and roads and other infrastructure. These goods and services cause market failures because it is usually hard to make a profit for them, and therefore, private firms will not want to provide them. An externality is a consequence of an economic activity on a third party who is not directly involved in the action or decision. Externalities can either be a cost or a benefit. These are examples of market failures because they can cause the quantities of goods and services consumed to not be socially optimal, and the product's price may not accurately reflect the costs associated with the product if some costs are not taken into account by the market in pricing. Pollution is an example of a negative externality because the actions of a dirty producer impose additional costs to society that they are not taking into consideration at the time. An externality can also be positive where additional benefits accrue to people not directly involved in the economic activity. For example, governments provide public education. This public good directly benefits the students attending school, but educated communities also provide additional benefits to society as a whole, such as improving people's personal lives and increasing economic growth. A clear cause of market failures is a lack of complete knowledge by one or both parties about factors that would affect decision making or imperfect information. Most market transactions involve some type of imperfect information. Imperfect information can deter buyers and sellers from entering the market. Buyers and sellers cannot properly determine the quality and sellers struggle to demonstrate the quality of their products to consumers. Examples of imperfect information include asymmetric information, where one party has more information than the other party in a transaction. If a company is unable to distinguish between types of customers and has to charge the same price to everyone, they may face a situation of adverse selection, where low-profit buyers flock to the service instead of high-profit buyers. Finally, some people behave differently whenever they have a good or service than they would without the item. People without insurance tend to drive a bit safer than those with insurance, effectively creating what economists call a moral hazard.